Welcome back to DeFi, DGEN's Drip and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. If you like the mission, you resonate with the vision, and you find this content useful, please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi, DGEN's Drip and Farm for Poverty. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at like five different calculators and strategies out there um and it's kind of a follow-up uh from my other video where i said you were stealing from your future self but the the question i get asked the most is how often should i compound how often should i hydrate and there's so many calculators out there i am literally going to show you the single best way to compound based on your individual deposits and your wallet and your strategy it's fail for safe it works for everybody and it's very very easy but first as a reminder Remember to like and comment on this video. What number like were you in the comments? And then I will be selecting a random winner for the uh, large airdrop at the end of the month doing a random draw. So the more you comment and on each video, uh, the more likelihood of you being selected and then the more likelihood of you being uh, drawn at the end of the month for the giveaway for the last Sunday of May. So getting straight into it. But first, I'm going to be showing you my smaller account. I have six <laughs> and this is the second largest i should say so i only have 16 drip in here but before i get into the strategy i want to show you some of the other calculators that are out there so that you can actually uh look at it some of them give you the gas price this one's on drip uh, dot formulate and it allows you to do different strategies so some of these calculators are very good to help you see how much you'll make um what the price of drip is try different strategies and all this other stuff um but none of them really explain when to hydrate they give you different hydration scenarios here's one uh from drip network 411 it's an excel spreadsheet very similar to the kelly snook google sheet uh this one is on i oh, already got that one open this one is here uh drip network strategy calculator you can change the bnb value and the price of bnb and what the gas fee is and stuff like that but again, you're, you're going with a stagnant amount. And let's just say through all of these, you pick this schedule, but you don't, you forget to hydrate one day or you do it in between. You, the, the main thing these are missing is telling you the baseline information of when you should actually indeed hydrate. And again, based on your particular strategy and amount of drip. Uh, I like all of them. They all have their different uh, elements and what's good about them. Uh, the Kelly Snook one by itself has 10 different hydration templates. But again, these are strategies like to hydrate every single day until you reach max. Uh, alternate hydrate and claim every day. Um, hydrate every third day, you know, hydrate once a week, whatever. Um, they're all just strategies. But the single most effective fail safe way to know when to hydrate for yourself, no matter what strategy you pick, you want to know and what you're, you got to get to what the actual question is. Like when to hydrate, you got to ask yourself, is it advantageous? Are you making money when you hydrate? That's the real reason you're asking how often should you hydrate? Because you want to know if when you hydrate, you're actually doing yourself a favor or is it costing you more in gas fees that's really the underlying question so if you want better answers you got to ask better questions so the answer to this is well how much is gas and how much are you hydrating that in and of itself will tell you whether or not to hydrate and an easy way to think about this is think about your hydrations as a dollar cost average into your position what do I mean by that well whatever you have here Whenever you click compound, remember um, 0.95 of that goes in here because there's a 5% tax. So almost 100%, 0.95, 95% uh, goes into your uh, deposits. So you can look at this number as saying you're getting that much drip for the cost of your hydration. So now the question is how much does it cost to hydrate? Great question. So I pulled up my transactions. Now these can change, remember, based on the BNB value. But here is a hydration on this wallet that I have up already. And it cost approximately 56 cents. You can see that here. 
that is based on the BNB value of 377. But we can take this number right here and let's go into our calculator just to see um, what would happen if you know BNB were say $450. So we can do 450 times 0 0.001433. Sorry, that is way off. <laughs> 450 dollars times 0 0.001433. So it's going to cost you 64 cents if BNB was at the 400, uh, 450 bucks. And if we double that to 750, it's going to cost us a dollar 12, right? So this will tell you how much it costs to hydrate. So right now we can safely say that for the foreseeable future, because I think the all-time high on BNB was 500 something, for the foreseeable future, it's gonna be less than a dollar. BNB would have to go to almost, to just about $700 in order for it to cost a dollar to hydrate. So let's just assume it's a dollar, that's why the Kelly Snook calculator has a dollar, some of the other ones have a dollar. If it costs you a dollar to hydrate, you can hydrate as often and as frequently as you have more than $1 worth of drip, point, point period. Because that means you're in profit. So if you have $2 worth of drip, you are essentially getting a 100% return on your investment. Your investment being the purchase of drip with that hydration button. So for right now, it's gonna cost me roughly 56 cents to get almost one whole drip. We'll just call it a half a drip. I'll call it a half a drip, just for ease of use after the taxes. So I'm for 56 cents, I'm getting half a drip. The price of drip right now is about 25 bucks. That would cost me $12.50 to buy an entire drip, but instead I'm spending 56 cents to get half a drip. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes sense. So the answer to your question is when to hydrate is whenever you have more in your drip USD value than the actual cost of gas. It's just that point, it's just that simple. Now you can determine if you want that to be 5X more, 2X more, 100X more, uh, a little more, whatever. But for right now, like for most people, um, that's going to cover the drip price. Because even if you have one drip, what is one drip? Times 0 0.01, uh, 25 cents. So almost, you literally need to have at least three drip in your account to hydrate once a day. Now granted, yes, that does get expensive, but you see what I'm getting at. If you have three drip, you have $75 basically worth of drip at the current price of drip. And when you hydrate, you have 0 0.095. So you're getting 71 cents uh, worth of drip if you were to hydrate every 24 hours and you only had three drip. And that 71 cents is greater than 56. So you are in profit when you hydrate. I would not do that with only three drip. In the previous videos I made, I made a template of when to do it, you know, and basically not until you get to about 100 drip do I think you should really go in every day, but you can. You most definitely can hydrate every day and even multiple times a day. Like I'm gonna go ahead and hydrate this right now just for you guys to see that you don't even need a whole drip and it is advantageous and we'll see it show up on the blockchain so you actually have some real numbers to work with, but um, you can start to do this more frequently because the more frequently you take this available balance and move it into your deposits, that means you are now getting 1% of this new deposit amount. So that is literally compound interest working for you. So you don't have to wait every 24 hours. You don't have to wait once a week or every three days or five days. Literally, it's up to you how frequently you want to do it. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. And as long as the amount you're hydrating exceeds the cost of the transaction, you are in profit. It's just that simple. It's like simple math. There's no other better way to explain it. And like I said, the easiest way to wrap your head around it, so it cost me 58 cents today. Um, and I got more than half a drip off of that. So the easiest way to wrap your head around it is to think of it as dollar cost averaging. So it cost me 58 cents to buy half a drip. That's, that's exactly what happened. There's no other way to explain that because that amount goes into my deposit. So it's like I purchased it and now I'm earning on this deposit. So you can throw out all the calculators. You don't need them. <laughs> They're great for strategies and forecasting and all that stuff. But when you're asking the question of when and how often should you hydrate, simply look at the value here and then make a determination if you want to spend the gas or not. And if you're bullish on drip, in the long run, that gas fee will not matter. 
even if it's a dollar a day that you're spending, that's 365 bucks at the end of the year, and drip will be one drip will be more than 365 dollars in a year. I'm almost certain of that. Um, our all-time high was 160 to 190, depending on the chart, and I have great certainty that we will 2x that uh, with all the new utility. So that means. Even if you hydrated every day and and B and B were twice the price of right now, um, you would still be able to make substantial ROI by dollar cost averaging and hydrating as frequently as possible. But that's obviously based on everyone's um, amount of money and what they want to spend. So, yes, you can definitely be more conservative and it doesn't hurt. But if you want to get your account maxed out quicker, then you want to basically get uh, more drip into your deposits. And if you don't have the capital to add it in and you're sitting on limited funds, then hydrating is the fastest way to get it there. It's like if you can't actually dollar cost average, then you're going to need to um, compound and hydrate. That way you're building that balance up and building that 1% compound interest. So it can literally be done twice a day, three times a day, four times a day. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as, like I said, when you do it, the balance that's here um, outweighs the cost. So this right here will give me roughly three drip, even at the um, price, uh, I'm sorry, with the tax, 3.318 times 0 0.0095. That's not right. 1%, sorry. I messed that other one up right, as well. You guys should have told me that, or you can definitely tell me that in the comments. It's uh, 0.01, yeah, 0 0.095. Yeah, that's right, right? 1%. I feel like that's not right. <laughs> Something, Something's off in my math when I'm, I'm trying to do this. But um, yeah. 95%, so I just multiply that by 95%. That's actually what I should be saying. I'm thinking of the payout. That's where I mess this up. Sorry. So three, two, one times 0.95. Yes, not 100, but 0.95. So I'll be ta putting over 3.15 drip at 56 cents or 58 cents if I were to hydrate this right now, but my ledger wallet's not connected. So um, that means it's advantageous for me to hydrate this, and I will uh, once I get my ledger connected. And you can see it's going up by. Um, not a lot every couple seconds, but um, it could almost be advantageous like once an hour at some stage. I don't know when that would be, um, how much drip you need to have in your account to basically make more than 60 cents an hour. But you see, I went up four cents in this couple of uh, seconds, and that's obviously tied to the price of drip. But the point being, as long as when you hydrate, it is uh, more drip being allocated than you are um, paying in gas. And that's the plain, clear and simple about it. Because the more, the quicker you get that over, then the more that this goes up and the more your max payout is available until you reach that 100K max or the 27,397, I think it is. Whatever one, whatever uh, 3.65 divided by 100,000 is. So that should answer you guys' question. Um, hope that helps. Um, take that with a grain of salt, do with it what you will. Uh, but I think that's the easiest way to determine and then use these calculators uh, to just devise strategies of when you want to take profits. I already explained in another video that you should not be taking profits if your total amount that you've deposited uh, is not, if the drip price is not above your dollar cost average price. So for me, I need drip to be about $32 um, and that's with the taxes. And right now it's only at like 25. So therefore, yes, I can take profits because you have this three, six, five max payout. But to me, that's still stupid. Um, uh, I would much rather if it's below my dollar cost average price, just hydrate. And if it goes one and a half X above or two X above, or I reach a timeline, like I set for myself, then I can start taking profits. But uh, before that, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. That's just my opinion. All right, guys, hope that helped. I want to keep this one short. Until next time, guys, lift daily and achieve your impossible. And sorry about the, the math. <laughs> 0.95. Got it figured out for next time. All right, guys. Later.